Monty today. Monty is only six months old, treats and, and you know, good boy and that kind of thing too. We actually chose to potty train this little guy, potty pads, and we have treats in here. Uh, but we have just these little training treats, they're so small. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with Mr. Monty today, and we're going to talk about a pretty highly requested video, and that is puppy training tips. So, Monty is only six months old, so we've been obviously, you know, doing some training tips for a while, but we're gonna dive in with this video and tell you guys how I really trained him and what kind of tactics we used. So without further ado, let's get into it. But before we do, please like and subscribe and comment down below what kind of content you'd like to see me post. Uh, I'd love to get your guys' feedback and whatever you guys suggest, I'll try to do as long as I have knowledge on it. And if not, I'll try to do some research to get you guys that information. But without further ado, let's get into it. So first, since this is a training video, I do want to say right off the bat that we did not use negative reinforcement. That's not what I'm about. French Bulldogs in particular do not do well with negative reinforcement. So any kind of like violence or spanking or anything like that, they're not gonna take well to. Uh, we tried that one time after he went potty on the carpet and he got so nervous that he actually threw up. So ever since then, we do not do any kind of negative reinforcement. We only really use positive like treats and, and you know good boy and that kind of thing to make sure that he knows he did a good job. So that's kind of what we're about. So with, you know, with that, I'll tell you first about potty training. So we actually chose to potty train this little guy with these potty pads. This is the Great Choice dog pads and there's 150 in here. So we got these actually when we first picked him up from the breeder. And the reason we did that was because we're in an apartment and so we don't have a yard and we weren't home all the time and it's really hard for puppies to hold their bladder. So we have potty pads throughout the house, upstairs and downstairs, just to make sure that we're, whenever he needs to go, there's an opportunity for him to do so. Now, it did take him probably about three full months to learn that the pad was where he was supposed to go. Uh, and we did that by every time he went potty on the floor, we would bring him to the accident. We wouldn't, you know, shove his face in it or anything, just show him, point to it, say, hey, Monty, um, no potty on the floor. And then we pick him up and bring him to the pad. And through that, we actually completely trained him on the pad. Also, treats, so we keep these, this is just like a little good dog container, and we have treats in here. He knows, he knows this. Uh, but we have just these little training treats, they're so small. There's a little, little peanut butter ones and then little, I think, bacon flavored ones. And <laughs> he loves these. But we keep these by the potty pads just so we can give them to him when he does a good job by going potty on the pad. Now we don't do that as much anymore because he's 99% potty trained. So he knows where he's supposed to go. But yeah, so that's, that's potty training. That's kind of how we did it. Next is leash training, and this was by far the hardest training we had to do with him. And we tried for so long to put a harness on. We, we switched different le leashes. We used a retractable leash. We used just a regular leash. We tried to take him for walks on just a collar on his harness. He hated all of it. He would sit down, he would you know, refuse to move. We'd have to pick him up. There would be times where we'd sit there for 20 minutes you know, trying to entice him with even with treats to go so or to move and he just wouldn't. So we ended up kind of giving up for a while and having him wear his harness just around the house or attaching the leash to him when he was in the house and not holding on to it just so he could get used to the harness and leash. And I'm not sure that worked either, but around the holidays we had family come in and it was Michael's aunt, Monty's dad's aunt, um, that brought her dog and we would take them for walks together and that helped significantly. So having another dog to walk next to your dog to show them kind of how to do it, like a big sister, big brother kind of situation, kind of show them the ropes, that's how we actually got him to walk for the first time on a leash. And now he's he, he goes on walks, he's completely fine. There are times where we still have to get him 
to go. Um, if it's cold outside or something like that, he might not be in the mood, but that's the one thing we learned about him is they kind of have to be in the mood to want to go out and exercise. Kind of like people, you know, you're either motivated or not motivated to go to the gym. And some days you're ready to go and some days you just don't want to. And that's Monty to a T. So that's kind of what we did with leash training. Next is sleep training. So we actually, I might, you know, get a lot of hate for this, but we decided not to crate train. It's just preference. I grew up with dogs, we never crate trained. And so I just decided I didn't wanna do it with Monty. And so for sleep training, it was a bit more difficult. So for example, there were days where we'd try to leave him downstairs and we'd put a gate up so he couldn't get upstairs. And that just would not work for a while. He would cry, he would bark for hours um, if he could not see us. So we always knew that we didn't wanna sleep with him. We didn't wanna get into that habit. So instead we just put his bed right next to my side of the bed. And sometimes he'll still paw at us if he wants up, but we put him down at 11 o'clock every night, put him in his bed, and then we don't let him back up on the bed until 7 a.m. And that's kind of our rule. So he's gotten so much better at that and he will sleep throughout the, like through the whole night in his bed right next to me. And I think knowing that I'm right there and he can see me allows him to kind of sleep throughout the night without barking or crying or anything like that. And then the next thing I do want to touch on is commands. So when you think of training, a lot of people think of sit, stay, leave it, those kind of things. And we definitely have been working on those with Monty. He learned sit very quickly. And how I did that was every time I had a piece of food or his food bowl in my hand, I would say sit. And then I would kind of gently push his booty to the ground so he knew what he was supposed to do. And he picked that up within a day or two. It really wasn't hard. French Bulldogs are very smart when they want to be. So that's how he learned that. Treat is pretty easy. You know, show him the treat every time you give it to him. We also did teach him slow. So he's not, when we have a treat for him, he's not, you know, jumping up or trying to grab it from our, our hands. We teach him slow. We'll put it in front of him and we'll, you know, give it to him very slowly. And so he knows that he's not supposed to jump at it or grab or, you know, bite hard. So he learned those very quickly. He learned to leave it when we went on walks and there was, you know, a piece of food in, on the sidewalk that he couldn't have. We would say, leave it, and we'd kind of, you know, gently bring him around it. And then also when he saw other dogs and people that he would not leave alone, you know, we would have to pick him up or, you know, say, leave it, and then gently guide him along. So that's kind of how he learned that one. Now we haven't really mastered stay or any of the kind of more intricate ones. He does know come here. We usually say come here or come on. And he does know those pretty well. Whether he decides to actually follow them is a different story, but he does know what it means and he will uh, respond well at times. But other than that, we haven't really worked on any other like you know, roll over or anything like that quite yet. We might eventually, but I don't see a need for it right now. But that's kind of what we did with him. If you guys have any other questions or any other, you know, training tips that you want to provide for me or that you'd like to share in particular, um, or you'd like me to share in particular, if you have something that you'd really like to know, please let me know. And I will make a part two of this video because there are so many different ways to train your dog. And I'm sure that there will be more training in Monty's future because he is still such a puppy and a baby. But um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video. Please again, like and subscribe and follow for more content. Thanks guys, bye.